Hi there, my name is James Cunningham and I am the founder and owner of Smart Digital Australia. It's a company we started back in 2003, so we have built up a fair bit of experience in the outdoor movie business. For some years, we had an events and hire division, and I'd like to share some of the experiences and knowledge we had whilst we had it, which may be useful to you. Over the years, technology has improved enormously with almost everything going digital. We have taken advantage of this constant change to significantly improve our products with the intention of making it easier for the user to set up and operate the equipment. In another video, we will show you just how easy it is with all the latest offerings we have to give you. So, who is our market? Number one, by a long shot, is mums. Mums for their kids' parties in the backyard. They all want to do something different, and outdoor movies is a great way of doing it. Another one is for weddings, after the weddings, and then honeymoons, when the couple come back from the honeymoon, they want to show everybody their pictures from their great honeymoon. Pool parties is another one that's been very successful, but just remember, it's a lot of water and a lot of electricity around, so if you're going to do a pool party, be careful of the electricity safety issue. Live TV is another one which has been very successful, particularly for showing the AFL, NRL, State of Origin, and the Australian Open, and other similar events. So, what can be screened? Most popular are family or kids movies on DVD or Blu-ray discs. Live TV through a TV set-top box or a Foxtel cable receiver. USB content, of course, including live streaming of media, Netflix, karaoke, and don't forget games consoles and a computer can all be connected and screened on the big, on the big screen. How to market the service. Okay, from our experience, the number one was the website. We had, a, in my opinion, a pretty good website which gave all the information required, including prices and rates and so forth. Social media, including Facebook. Word of mouth is very, very important. If you do a good job, the word will spread. Schools newsletter works very, very well because it's inexpensive and it goes straight to the desired market, i.e. mum and dad for the kids' parties. Local newspapers, particularly if it's in the regional or country areas. We haven't found local newspapers in the city work nearly as well. And the same goes with magazines. Not so good. The procedures. Create a standard booking form with all the details. Have a wet weather policy and plan. Plan B, or a backup plan for inclement weather, details should be documented. A legal hire agreement with all the special details. Remember, the devil is in the detail. Copy of driver's license is imperative for proof of residence from the hirer. Payment. We always took a deposit with the booking, with payment in full, at the time of the hire or delivery. Pickup. Every item should be listed and ticked by the customer picking up the goods, including the cables, power boards and so forth. Provide the cost of replacement if not returned. He's not there to make so much a profit out of the non-return, but the inconvenience charge. If delivered by courier, make sure the client checks everything on arrival and notify you of any omissions. Very important. Delivery. The good news is you do not need to personally go and deliver every single hire. Everything now has been made so simple and compact it can be sent out by a courier or other means. Everything is pre-packaged and appropriate protective cases provided. Setup and connection is very simple and straightforward. OHS. All power cables should be tested and tagged and kept up to date. If they become tired, they should be replaced. Ensure all tethers and stakes are in place. Licensing. You do not need a movie license for a private backyard party. Beyond a private backyard party, you will normally require 
a movie license. That includes events on what we call private property such as private golf clubs and so forth. From a licensing point of view they are deemed to be a public event and will normally require a license. Management. Most events are held on a Friday and, a Saturday, and Saturday nights. One solution for a very small organization is for mum to take the bookings during the week and arrange the banking and things like that and for dad when he comes home on Friday night to arrange for the dispatch of the, of the hire systems. In a larger organization or professional hire division of course this will not be an issue. Think about partnering with others in the business such as popcorn machines, bean bags, face painting, photo booths, karaoke. When we had our business we had bean bags but they took up a lot of space and frankly I was happy to pass them on. We, it was easier to work with a company that is professional in storing bean and hiring bean bags and much the same with popcorn machines. There's a lot of maintenance in popcorn machines and it's easier to let an organization that does that properly and professionally let them have the business. To wrap up, nothing has changed in business. How much money you make out of this depends entirely on how much effort you put into it. The good news is that the initial investment is low and the returns can be very, very interesting. For more information, visit our website, smartdigital.com.au or give us a call on 03 9729 6300. We're here to help. And thanks for watching.